Hello, Spinner94 here, bringing you today another quick battle. Today we've got another mono team battle. Um, I brought my mono normal team. Dom's rocking mono water. Joshua's rocking mono water, and he's rocking mono poison. So some quite interesting ones. I quite like in the Vio Bloom, and it's nice to see a war turtle used about again. I was wondering what this thing's gonna do. So anyway. We're going to jump straight into this battle, and Lapis is going to be the lead-off with my Swellow as well. So Swellow is a pretty damn good Pokemon, and Viobloom comes out here, so I'm like, okay, I know Viobloom quite well, because I run one of these. So, I'm definitely wanting to get it protected, I don't want to be Sleep Powder or anything like that. And basically, I know a Brave Bird and this thing will do some damage. So, Blue goes for Bubble, but I do manage to protect myself. Uh, definitely wouldn't recommend Bubble. I mean, it hits things twice, but you're probably better going with Surf or something like that. So, Ice Beam is going to hit this Vile Bloom and do a ton of damage here. As I am going to get Sleep Powdered. But, fortunately for me, I did protect. So, Swallow was going to take a lot of damage at 10. I'm glad I protected. So, I go for a seat and first poor little Fiona goes down here. Which is a shame, because I kind of wanted to see what it would do, but... Couldn't really give it the chance at this point. I had no idea at the time if this thing gets tail glow. So Lapis is going to go for an ice beam and finish off this vile bloom. So goodbye vile bloom. That thing's taken out for good. So we're looking pretty safe on our side of the field at this point here, as I unfortunately do get burned because of Swallow. Problem is with Swallow, you are on a timer and you are very frail, so you need to get those kills. So if you're going to use one of these, go for some spikes or something like that. So War Turtle comes in here and so does Needle King here. Two quite threatening things. Cough. I know Needle King can't be run Scarf, but since they outsped, it must have been a Scarf to go for a facade and I absolutely take this Needle King out. That thing was not gonna last for very long. So Swellow is doing some really good work here as I Atlas again is gonna go for Ice Beam. That's not gonna do too much to War Turtle here. It's a decent little chunk but it doesn't do too much as Water Pulse A is gonna come in here so not re must admit, not reckon the best moves on these things, my friend. I mean, trying to go for the confusion that's good, but I'd recommend Scal basically every day of the week if you're going to run a water. That's just my opinion, anyway. So, Weezing's going to be the final Pokemon for E side here, as I'm just going to go straight for a facade on the water to finish it off at this point. God, I don't want to. Don't want to see what this thing's going to do. It could set up. It could be quite a danger. I don't want to risk at this point. I was just thinking Ice Beam will do a decent chunk to Weezing, but it actually doesn't too much. So this Weezing must be actually having a bit of bulk out in special defense. As this thing is going to go for a stockpile here, and that is scary because Weezing is bulky enough in its defense under a stockpile. That's quite an intimidating thought here. But I do decide, you know what, I'm going to stay in cover at the minute. I am a wall breaker, swallow can be. It's really fast and really does hit, especially under Guts facade. So I'm thinking I can probably stay in here and do a good chunk of damage to this Weezing. So I do decide to do that. And I take it down to quite a decent chunk here as Ice Beam is going to hit Weezing off. And I believe it does manage to kill it. Thank God for that. Cough. Didn't want to see this thing setting up any more stockpiles. Because it, it could have went for a rest of anything. As Miracourt's going to do its thing. Expecting the Lapras to hit it as well. Maybe to get some residual damage. Well, not residual damage. Killed off. Sorry. So, Swallow is going to go for the facade here. I am going to do a nice chunk of this Suicune. And that is a very good chunk. As Hydro Pump's going to go on the Suicune here. Not going to do too much. I must admit, I was a little bit panicky. Because I keep thinking Suicune's got water absorbed for some reason. Um, this thing does go for Gust. Actually, Gust? Uh, okay, it's enough to... It's enough to kill Swallow off. Must admit, didn't know Suicune got Gust, but yet again, um, I definitely recommend Scald on these water types. So, Rose's going to come in here and definitely just finish off the match from here. It's going to be, I'm going to be able just to finish it off with a Hyper Voice. I mean, Suicune can be bulky, but at that health, Rose just specs anyway, so that's going to finish off the match. So, Mono Normal Team not doing too bad there. Anyway, this has been Spinner94 bringing you another free full battle. Remember to like, share, sub, all that crap. See you in the next one, guys.